Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm showing how you can make kid silhouette shadows. These would make awesome gifts, especially with Mother's Day coming up. I'd love to hear if you've made these before and how you made them. I hope you enjoyed this video and let's get into the tutorial. The first thing that I'm going to do is upload both images that I'm going to be using. I'm on the website remove.bg. I talked about this in my hack video, my TikTok hack video. It is amazing. It is so easy to remove backgrounds. So I use this all the time. I'm going to click on upload image. Here's the two pictures that I'm going to be using and I'll just click on my son first and it automatically does it so it did it super fast where you almost didn't even get a chance to see it but you can see these little boxes but that means that the background is gone and you can tell my son was not very happy about having to take that picture he is not a picture person so now i am going to just click download and you can see down at the bottom it's automatically downloading to my computer to do the next one all i do is scroll up and there's another place to upload the image so I'll select that and I will grab my daughter's picture. And you can tell she likes pictures much better than her brother. <laughs> so you can see once again, it erased the background. So I'll hit download again. Over here in my finder on my Mac, you can see the original picture and you can also see it. The other picture it has a white background. And if you have a Windows, this would just be in your downloads folder. So now I'm ready to upload these pictures into Cricut. I'll go over to Cricut. I'm gonna go over to Upload, then Upload Image and Browse. And I'm just gonna select my son's picture first, so I will double click on that. Then I'm going to hit Complex and I'll hit Continue. I'm gonna zoom in first so it's a little easier to see it. Then I'm going to crop this. I only want the top part of his head. I don't want the whole body. So I'm gonna go up to the left upper hand corner and grab the crop button. This is a really easy way to do this instead of having to use the eraser tool. I'm just gonna start at the top and drag it down. Then I'll just let go and it'll crop that for you. I'm gonna zoom in again, and this is what we're left with. I'm gonna click on preview to see how it looks. Up here you can see a little line, and when you hit hide preview, you can see it's a little piece of his hair. I think that looks okay. I don't want to erase it because I think it will look kind of funny right there. So I am just going to leave that and hit continue. Since this is our silhouette or shadow, I'm gonna choose the cut image. I'll select that and hit upload. Now I'm gonna to go to upload image again and grab a picture of my daughter. I'll double click on hers and hit complex, then click on continue. So I'm gonna zoom in again and hit crop. And I'll bring this down to about there. Then I'll zoom in again. She has a lot of wisps of hair. She has very fine hair. So we'll see how this looks. I'm gonna hit preview. And you can see it's a little bit more messy than the other one. So I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit. And the hair down here, I think I'm going to erase that because I just feel like it looks a little funny. So what I'm gonna do is grab my eraser tool. Then I'm gonna come down here and actually erase it. I just think it'll look a little cleaner. And I'm just dragging over it. And now let me hit preview. I think that looks better. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and hit preview again. There's a little spot coming off of that. I am going to make my eraser smaller and I am just gonna try to, whoops. And I'm just gonna try to round this out. Then I'll hit preview again, and that looks a lot better. The preview button is really helpful. Up here too, I'm gonna try to clean this up a little bit also. So I'm gonna get my eraser, and I'm just gonna kind of bring over this. Then I'll hit preview again, and I'm gonna try to get it a little bit more. Okay. 
Okay, I think that looks a lot better. I'm gonna zoom out and see how the whole picture is looking. One other thing I wanna do is her, the collar of her shirt looks a little funny in this also. So I am going to erase a little bit of that too. Okay, now let me see how that's looking. I'm just getting kind of picky, but I'm going to um, round out this side too a little bit. It's just her shirt looks just a little funny there. Okay, that looks a lot better. I like this little piece here, but I feel like it might not cut well, so I'm gonna try to clean that up also. Now I'll hit continue. Now I have both of them here. I'm just gonna select on each one and insert image. Here's how they look once you insert them into Cricut Design Space, and I think it is seriously so cool. Now I'm going to figure out sizing. I'm gonna grab a shape and grab a square. The inside of the frame is eight by 10, so I'm gonna come up here and change it to that. Now I need to send this to the back. You can right click, or sometimes it's easier just to drag this down in the layers panel, and you can do it that way too. So I'm gonna grab my daughter's one first and just figure out what size I wanna make it. I'm gonna highlight over both and align and center to see how that looks. And I like how that looks. Now I'm just gonna grab my son's. So I'll come up here and make this bigger. Then I'm gonna highlight over both and center this one again to see how it looks. Okay, I think that looks good. I'm gonna delete this one. I'm going to be using black vinyl. So now I'm gonna click on make it. I'm using a 12 by 12 vinyl sheet and it looks like it both fits on there. So then I'll hit continue. Then I'll just select vinyl for my cut setting. I'm using black or cal vinyl, but I would recommend using black cardstock instead. I'll show you a little later in the video, but when the glass pressed against the vinyl, it looked a little blotchy in some places. Here I am weeding the vinyl. I forgot to trim off the excess on the bottom before weeding, so I had to go back in and do that. I'm using 50 pound cardstock. The size is 8.5 by 11, so I needed to cut it down to eight by 10, which is the size of the frame that I'm using. I love using this paper cutter. It has a piece that you pull out, which makes it so easy to measure and cut the paper. I line one side of the paper up against the 10 inch mark, then I will cut it there. Then I turn the paper around and line it up at the eight inch mark. It makes it easy to cut it nice and straight this way also. I zoomed in a little on the ruler for the second piece of cardstock so it might help to see it a little bit better. Now I'm just adding the vinyl to the cardstock. I didn't use transfer paper because it was all one piece. Then I lined it up and placed it on the cardstock. Since I would use cardstock instead of vinyl if I had to redo this, I would just glue it on or you can even use double-sided tape. When I went to do my daughter's, I didn't set it down well enough and it had creases in it. I tried to rub it out to save on material, but it didn't work. So I had to cut out another piece of vinyl and that time I used transfer paper instead and that worked a lot better. Here's the frames I'm using. They are eight by 10 and I bought them from Target for $5 each. You can also use Dollar Tree frames as well. I cleaned off the glass first, then placed each cardstock piece in the frame. 
I put this piece in wrong like three different times until I finally got it going the right way. You can see how it looks a little splotchy in some parts and I just assumed that's because the vinyl is just right up against that glass. So I decided to take the glass out which helps solve the problem. Here's how they both look without the glass in. It was super fun and a quick project to make. Once again, these would make amazing gifts. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. I would love it if you subscribe to my channel if you are new. It's completely free to subscribe and I hope you have a great day.